Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Urs Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss our video. The College Football Playoff Committee has snubbed the undefeated Florida State Seminoles from the College Football Playoff. They won the ACC Championship game over the Louisville Cardinals, but because Jordan Travis is not available for Florida State and they do not look like as good of a football team without him, the College Football Playoff Committee has decided that they do do not belong in the playoff. And they have gone with the Michigan Wolverines, the Washington Huskies, the Texas Longhorns, and the Alabama Crimson Tide to get into the playoff. And I know that a lot of people are going to agree with this move by the College Football Playoff Committee because these four teams are all really talented and these are going to be some really solid games. Texas-Washington should be a fantastic matchup. Alabama-Michigan will be a great matchup as well. But you cannot keep Florida State out of the college football playoff. When you look at what the committee has done in the past, teams like TCU and Cincinnati got into the playoff even though they clearly were not one of the four best teams. TCU did not even win the Big 12 last year, and they got in over the Alabama Crimson Tide, who did have two losses, and TCU only had one loss, but then Alabama went on to beat Kansas State big time in the bowl game, the team that TCU lost to, so you could clearly tell who was the better team. I know TCU knocked off Michigan, so that helped out their argument, but then they got destroyed by Georgia. Cincinnati was not competitive against the Alabama Crimson Tide in 2021. Then you talk about teams like Washington back in 2017. There's a lot of other examples of teams that were not one of the four best in college football that got in, and now the committee is going to reverse that and not take Florida State, even though they won the ACC championship game, and they were under defeated TCU and Washington in those years they had one loss Cincinnati to their credit they were undefeated but still it makes absolutely no sense in the world why the Florida State Seminoles are not in I understand that Jordan Travis is injured and with TCU they didn't have a major injury to you know, Max Duggan that would have prevented them and a lot of people's minds from making the playoff because he was still playing at quarterback and he played well all year I understand that but you got to realize as well that Florida State beat Louisville 16 to 6 behind their fantastic defense and they had a third string quarterback Tate Roadmaker was going to be back for the college football playoff and he did a better job for Florida State's offense in the Florida game so the Seminoles probably would have been okay on the offensive and even if they were not able to beat Washington it still probably would have been a decent game I understand why the committee left them out I get it just like I understand why Texas is over Alabama because of the head to head but I believe that in my opinion I said it on my Twitter my top four teams in the playoff were number one Michigan, number two Washington, number Number three, Florida State, and number four, Alabama. That's who I believe should have made the college football playoff. I get Texas beat the Crimson Tide, but Alabama got a bigger win than Texas had over the Georgia Bulldogs, and Florida State was undefeated. They should have been in the playoff. And then you look at the poll that I put out, 78% of people are saying that the Florida State Seminoles should have made the college football playoff, and 22% of people are saying that they shouldn't have. So definitely people are on agreement that Florida State should have been in because of the pressure precedence that's been set by the committee in past years where they put in teams like TCU and Cincinnati. If they didn't put those teams in, if Alabama had got in over TCU last year, I wouldn't even be saying this right now. I'd be like, okay, Florida State, clearly they had a weaker strength of schedule. They don't have as many good quality wins, even though they beat LSU in week one and Clemson. They don't have as much meat on their resume as Alabama or Texas does. Leave them out, especially now with Travis out. But because the committee put those other teams in, they should have put Florida State into the college football playoff. It's ridiculous that they did not. They were undefeated. They did everything that they were supposed to do. And with Tate Roadmaker, I think they could have been competitive against the Washington Huskies if they were able to get that number three seed. Texas being a number three over Alabama, that's great for them because they were able to get a blowout win in the Big 12 and beat an Oklahoma State team that was also blown out by UCF. So to me, that win should not be taken into as much credibility as people are given into it, but still it's an impressive win. But you see Georgia down there at number six as well because they lost to Alabama. They fell from number one to number six. How often does that happen? That shows you how many good teams there were this year at the top. And Ohio State, they're at number seven as well. So there were so many good teams in contention for the playoff. People are arguing that this is why there should have been a 12-team playoff this year. But still, I prefer the 14 playoff. It makes you have to earn to get in and you just can't get in even with two losses. And sometimes you don't even get in with one loss. So I like the 14 playoff even though unfortunately somebody is going to get screwed out of it. And this year it's four 
Florida State because they should have made the college football playoff. All reasoning and past examples that the playoff has done, they would have been in. Yes, the better teams are Michigan, Washington, Texas, and Alabama. Some people can make the argument that the four best teams still are Michigan, Alabama, Georgia, and Ohio State, but Georgia and Ohio State did not get in because they did not win their conference. Texas and Alabama did. So did Washington and Michigan as well. But Florida State won their conference undefeated as well, did not get in. I think it was a big mistake by the college football playoff committee. Booger McFarlane even called it a travesty. I do agree with him that it's terrible that the committee did not use the same rules that they used before. I'm happy that we've got four really good teams in the college football playoff. I cannot wait to watch the Texas-Washington semifinal and the Alabama-Michigan semifinal as well. They're going to be fantastic games. And the committee did a good job putting in four really great teams that deserve to be in the college football playoff. But based off past precedents, they should have put Florida State into the college football playoff. And I feel bad for Jordan Travis and every Seminole fan out there that their team did not get to make the college football playoff like other teams like TCU and Cincinnati got to in the past. Subscribe to if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about Michigan, Washington, Texas, and Alabama making the college football playoff and Florida State getting snubbed and whether you believe Florida State should have made the playoff or if you believe that the committee did the right thing putting the four better teams into the playoff and snubbing the Seminoles. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description and I'll see you next time.